Alex here with Senna. Today we're gonna to be doing an unboxing and installation video for the 5R and 5R Lite communication system. Let's get to it. The 5R and the 5R Lite is a great entry level communication system for someone that's looking for two-way Bluetooth communication. Both units can display battery life, audio levels, pairing, and incoming calls. Each unit supports two-way HD intercom with hands-free communication up to 700 meters or 0.4 miles. So both of these devices can actually let you connect to your smartphone where you can listen to music, the latest podcasts, and turn-by-turn -turn GPS directions. So you guys might be asking yourself, what What's the difference between the 5R and the 5R Lite? Well, it comes down to features. The 5R packs a bigger punch. It comes with HD speakers, audio equalizer that you can access through the app, but most importantly is the battery life. The battery life on the 5R has 16 hours of talk time, and the 5R Lite only has eight hours of talk time. But the good news is the charging time's the same, 2.5 hours. All right, guys, so let's get to the unboxing. Like always, Senna has beautiful packaging. There's your main unit. We're gonna go ahead and put that to the side. For whatever reason, if you lose your quick start guide or if you want the full manual for your product, I'll leave a link in the description down below. So the first thing out of the box that we're gonna get here is actually your boom mic. So you're gonna have your phone for your actual boom mic. So you have two options. This is one of the options. This is where you're actually gonna be talking out of. Then here's your second option for a microphone. This one actually sticks on, so it's a little more sleek or hidden. Boom mic is nice when you can adjust it however you like. Uh, usually people will use these for open face helmets. This one is a fixed one. This is actually best for a closed face helmet. So here are your actual speakers. It has this little red tag on it and this main little connection that goes on the main unit. And these are Velcro on the back. This is where you're actually gonna listen from. All right guys, so I wanna share the difference between the 5R and the 5R Lite speakers. The ones down here are for our 5R. These are our HD speakers. They're gonna be a little different than the standard speakers we have for the 5R Lite. So, we already talked about these, so we'll get these out of the way. What I want you guys to realize on the 5R Lite speakers, you have a boom mic option only. You cannot do the fixed style like you can on the 5R. So you only have a boom mic is the only option you have for these speakers, and I just want you guys to be aware of that. So the next thing you're gonna get is your hook and loops. This is what goes to your actual helmet and how you stick the Velcro. So, for example, this one right here is for your speakers. You can just Velcro that on and then there's double-sided tape so it sticks to your helmet. And then we also have one for the fixed microphone and this one right here is actually for the boom mic. So this is the actual charger for your unit. The last thing you get in your box, you're gonna get two options on how to mount your main unit to your helmet. You're gonna get a clip type and you're gonna get a double-sided tape type. So when we go into the installation, I'll install both of them so you guys get a good idea on what option works best for you. All right guys, so it's time to start installing our 5R into our helmet. A helmet of choice today is a full face dirt bike helmet. One thing I recommend too is to get yourself a helmet donut. These are great so you don't scratch up a very expensive helmet. So let's get to it. All right, so we're gonna start disassembling the helmet. The first thing we have to do is go ahead and remove the cheek pads. Most helmets, you can remove your cheek pads. All right guys, so the next thing we're gonna do is remove the inner liner for your actual head. It's usually four clips on each corner and it'll slide right out like so. All right, so now we're ready to start installing our unit. All right guys, so we're gonna start off with putting in our speakers. What you're gonna need first is you're gonna need your speakers and you're gonna need your hook and loop for your speakers. Let's go ahead and start installing this part. I'm gonna do a zoom in shot so you guys can get there really close and see exactly what I'm doing. But uh, we're gonna get in this section right here first. So the first step we're gonna do is put our hook and loop for our speaker. Make sure that if there's any contaminants that you clean it with the rag, nice and clean. You want it free from oil or anything like that. Then we're gonna go ahead and take this off the double-sided tape and go ahead and stick it on like so. Make sure you put some pressure on it so it bonds to the helmet really well. All right, so we're on the other side. I flipped it. Go ahead and take the double-sided tape off and put your hook and loop on the other side. Make sure you go ahead and put some pressure on it on this side as well. Okay guys, so we're ready to start installing the speakers. You're gonna need your speakers here. What I want you to make sure, we always put the unit on the left side. You wanna make sure that you mount this side, the shorter side, to the left side of the helmet. So go ahead and mount this one. As you can see, the main harness is going to be on the left side. Okay guys, so now we're on the right side of the helmet. We're gonna go ahead and put our other speaker in. Make sure the wire, the tail end, goes into the top of the helmet. All right guys, so you have two options. You have the clip type, 
and the double-sided tape type. We'll mount each unit so you guys can see what it looks like. So the way this is gonna work, this is gonna clip on. It has little hooks on here. You're gonna pop it in and then you're gonna push it down like that. To take it off is you're gonna hold it and you're gonna shift it at an angle. So something like this, and then you can kind of pull it out and it comes out really easy like that. But if you try to pull it out at the same time, it's not gonna come out. So remember, when you put it down, clip it, pivot to one side, and it gets loose and then you can kind of push it out. For the second type, it's the same idea, same concept. Right here, you're gonna have a wider opening. As you can see, this is where it clips on. You're gonna go ahead and push it on top, like so, and then he's gonna push down like so. It's gonna clip on. So to take this off, you don't wanna push straight up because it might come off the helmet. You wanna be gentle with it. You're gonna kind of turn it like that and then push it like that this way and it comes apart. What I recommend before you even mount this is to clean the surface from any oils or contaminants. You want it to be very clean because if there's oil and stuff, it's not gonna stick really well. The cleaner it is, the better of a bond you're going to have. I wanna put mine right where the chin strap's located because I think that's a really good spot. Looks pretty sleek right there. I'm gonna put it a little low because I don't want this wire to be running down my helmet. The lower it is, the cleaner it'll look. So let's go ahead and start mounting it. All you gotta do is take the double-sided tape off. Sometimes it'll battle you. I already have the bracket hooked up to my 5R. So we're gonna go ahead and mount it right about here. I think this is a good spot. And just so you know, the helmet is contour and also the bracket as well. It's hard to see, but it is contoured. So that's already on there. Make sure you stick it really well. Put some pressure on it and should be good to go. So I already showed you guys how to mount your double-sided tape mount. I'm gonna go ahead and show you the clip style. That's the style I prefer. So we can go ahead and take this out. This thing's pretty on there. So we're gonna go ahead and put our clip style mount onto our helmet. On this helmet in particular, we have a chin strap where we're gonna have to go just a little ahead of the chin strap. So we're gonna put it about here. This should be a really good spot. Clip it there. Get your main unit, either the 5R or 5R Lite. Clip it and mount it and you're good to go. Let's go ahead and put the main harness next. So you're gonna get your main harness and hook it up to your unit. You see that arrow right there? Line it up with the arrow on the unit and then go ahead and push it in. And you should be good to go, like so. So I went ahead and installed my hook and loop for the microphone. Be aware of wind noise. If you have any issues, adjust accordingly. Okay, so the next step is you're gonna hook up your actual microphone. You got this red tab here that tells you which one's your microphone and line up this little triangle part and it'll clip right in. All right, so we're gonna first put our inner liner first. Make sure you put your wires down there so you can tuck them away. Now pop this guy in. Keep your chin straps out. Clip that one in. Clip this next one in. And the wires, I'm gonna tuck them back here. So they're out of the way. Clip that. Clip that guy. Speakers are out of the way. Time to put the cheek pads back in. And then you gotta, this is where you're gonna do all your tucking and making it look pretty. So go ahead and put it in and then kinda manipulate the wires as you're kinda messing with it. And then the wires are kinda funky, so this is where you kinda make it look a little prettier. So there's the wires are not too bad. You just wanna go ahead and tuck them in. Use the cheek pad to kinda hold it and you should be good to go. So to power on your unit, hold the plus and minus for one second. To power off unit, tap the plus and minus sign once. To raise the volume, tap the plus sign. To lower the volume, tap the minus sign. So for pairing, turn on your unit. Your LCD screen will show pairing mode. Turn on Bluetooth on your phone. Find Senna 5R. And your 5R will display ready. To answer a call, tap the multi-function button. To reject the incoming call, press and hold the multi-function button for two seconds. If you would like to make a call with the voice dialer, hold the multi-function button for three seconds. To pause music, hold down the multi-function button for one second. To play music, hold the multi-function button for one second. To skip tracks, hold down the plus button for one second. For intercom pairing, get both devices close to each other and hold down the multi-function button for five seconds. Then, on any of the units, tap the multi-function button once. To turn on or off the communication, tap the multi-function button one time. 
If you would like to perform the factory reset, hold down the multi-function button for 10 seconds. Then tap two times on the minus sign. Then tap on the multi-function button one time. And it will say goodbye. Last but not least, charging. On the back of the unit, you will see a rubber flap. And this is where you charge your unit. All right, guys, so that's the Tech Talk video for the 5R or the 5R Lite. If you guys have any questions, I'll leave a link in the description down below where you can get some tech support. I'll catch you guys on the next one.